Well, I'm out here in Doha at the moment on our um, pre-training camp. It's the camp for the competition, before the Commonwealth Games. We actually fly into India in a couple of days and uh, yeah, compete at the Commonwealth Games, so I'm really looking forward to it. I've never been to a Commonwealth Games before, which is a massive thing for me and just a massive experience, to be honest. So I'm looking forward to just experiencing everything as England, Scotland, Wales and all that kind of friendly rivalry. The facilities here are incredible. The Aspire Centre that we're training at is one of the best facilities I've been to in the world. So to have the opportunity to come here and do our holding camp here is definitely putting us in a good stead leading into the Games. Obviously there's been a lot of talk about the Commonwealth Games, whether the village is going to be ready, security reasons, and to be honest, none of it's really affected me. I've not really thought about it, I've not really, you know, put it, pulled it into the equation. I just want to kind of get in the pool and train hard and kind of keep my focus on the training and compete inside and we've heard good things over the past few days that it's all kind of getting finished and nearly done and I'm just looking forward to getting in there and seeing what it's like. I've been told personally amazing things about India, how beautiful the country is and how it's just so different to anywhere else and I've always been told that and I've always been excited to go and kind of experience all of that. Wales is a very patriotic nation, you know, and they really celebrate their sporting success and um, one of my sporting highlights was winning gold for Wales four years ago in the Commonwealth Games and um, the reception I got when I got back was fantastic, so um, I'd love to go and do my best for them again. Obviously, I mean, it's a huge deal for me to be able to represent Scotland. It's something that I don't often get to do and uh, pulling on that Saltar tracksuit is uh, really kind of very special for me. There's always going to be that pressure there from what I did from Beijing, that's always going to happen but it's just trying to manage it and deal with it and I learnt that in Budapest and kind of learnt how to relax and then it worked for the 400 so hopefully I'll have more sons like the 400 in Budapest rather than the 800 in Budapest. To be honest, this will probably be a tougher meet for me than the Europeans was because um, I have obviously Jem who was at the Europeans but other than that um, you know, I've got the Australians who are basically my, my, well, some of my top competitors in the world and there's a good two or three girls in each of my events that are really, you know, right up there in the, in the world rankings. Obviously I want to go out and I want to do a good 200, the 100's always been mine and the 200 uh, is something that I struggle with so we're going to see what we can do here and see if we can pull it out a little bit faster. I've taken a lot from being in Budapest and what I did there and that's built my confidence up a lot for the year so I've had a lot more training under our belt since then and and I feel like I'm starting to get ready to go now after a bit of rest so I'm really looking forward to just getting in and racing against the Australians because they're one of the best swimming nations in the world so to get in and get in the mix with them will be good fun.